when 2022 began i think i came to this youtube channel to tell you guys that this year i'm declaring it as the year of charity i'm declaring the year 2022 as the year of charity what do i mean by year of charity this youtube channel must be able to build schools this youtube channel must be able to build hospitals this youtube channel must be able to create jobs for people this youtube channel must be able to change and transform lives this is what i promised myself to use my youtube channel to do when i hit a million the million is here and it's time to change the narrative not just on the internet but in real life i know things are tough everywhere in the world but i believe that doing something alone we can only do a little but doing something together as a community we can actually do more than one person can do i am trying my best i wish i have so much money i have changed so much in the world because i know that the heart that i have loves to give and that's why i always want to create a community that loves to give so anytime i see people giving i always want to come around and support you know what i declared 2022 as a year of charity mm. and you are the one who is actually like starting 2022 for us that's amazing tell I'm me happy, what you're doing happy. for us today Today we're going to not me a week. We because I'm pulling him along. He started it, so he must start it with me all, today. All I just said is I'm declaring <laughs> this year as a year of charity. So, so we do it together. <laughs> we okay. do it together. So, okay, so what are we doing then? So today we want to feed the homeless. Thank you. So we're going to be making some jollof rice and chicken because somebody was asking why don't you use meat and I thought everybody can buy meat watch it say let's have meat mm. but chicken everybody can't afford so today we want to give them some chicken some jollof rice and some drinks I think this year I've promised a lot of people stuff tell us how much you want us to raise for you well, we've calculated that to finish that resource center, because it's two levels, library, everything, it's going to be about $40,000. So I think I'm going to use my channel to raise $20,000, wow. which means that we've taken half of your wow. burden off, right? That would kill you, us. Please, you guys should not disappoint me. Oh. This year is the year of charity, and whatever he has been doing here, he has been doing it out of charity. And if I'm here, we have to make it possible. The GoFundMe page is going to be in the uh, description box. It has nothing to do with me. But the same person who is um, giving them... Yes, yes. We provide them. snack and lunch every day. Yeah. We provide lunch. You're not paying fees? No. We don't take any money from anybody. Personally, I'm going to give you a thousand dollars. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll Thank you. I'll give you a thousand dollars. I'm actually on my so way much. traveling, so... No, I'll give you a thousand dollars. Thank you so much. But, Thank you um, so much. This year is actually declared as the year of charity on my YouTube channel. Wow. And I would love us to do something. Okay. We're going to build you the school. Thank you so much. But I have a request. Okay. I have to name the school after your mom. Yes, 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 yes. And after all that promise, I also said you should also do your part so that we can help all these communities together. Don't disappoint me. I know the year of charity can go on for five good years, but I believe that we can have something to show at this very moment. So the links are gonna be in the description. If you have a dollar, donate to support all these platforms. The money does not come to me. It goes straight to the people that we are raising funds for. But there's this video that I did last year that really touched me that I never even uploaded a video. But when I found this stock footage, I was like, you know what? It's time for me to upload this video. Maybe this video will inspire the diaspora to also give back to people living in Africa. I just hope this video will touch your heart. There will be so many links in the description box. Support with a dollar and the good Lord will bless you. My name is Mr. Ghana Baby. Don't forget to like and share this video. I'll see you all in the next one. I out. Bye. Peace out. This is Ghana. This is it. That's not the huts, it's not what everyone thinks. This is Ghana. This is our home. Maya and 
today I've been joined by Ghana Nurses Association in which country? Dallas, Texas, Texas DMW. USA. I bumped into them when I was on my way going somewhere to mind my own business. But they were like, you know what, you can't mind your own business because we are in Ghana and I had to join you guys today. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. It was, it was just by coincidence and everybody was excited to see him. We were happy hugging all over him. And he was like, I cannot leave you guys out. We need to have an interview. But I just want to welcome you all to the YouTube channel. Um, tell us who you are and what you represent and what are you doing in Ghana at this very moment? So we are Ghana Nurses Association, a group of Ghanaians uh, be, be, being born in Ghana or here. But most of us are really from Ghana, originally from Ghana. And we've been in existence for about 12 years. She's a founder. I'm the secretary of the GNA of Ghana Nurses Association, DFW. And she's the founder. Since you are the founder, I just want to know what really inspired you to start something like this. Okay, so GNA was um, founded by a group of nurses. I would say um, my older sister, Joanna Safwa J, um, we lost a sibling um, years ago and it was uh, concerning. You know, she was home and we were there at that time. So she went ahead and we asked our dad, Dr. Buama, if it's okay for us to initiate something like that because we were already in the US. And he said, go ahead. So um, for a good cause, yes, why not? So she asked me, uh, we as a nurse, and she was a nurse at that time, and we called a few nurses, I would say about four or five nurses together, and we started. Well, our mission was to help our Ghanaians in, in Dallas, the US. Texas, mm -hmm. and the whole of US, and also to be able to help Ghanaians back home. Um, we've been going on and trying to get this goal um, finalized in our lives, which is great because it's important for us to do that. Mm. This has been going on for a while, um, while we do that there. We, d we normally do come here, but it's just a few of us at a time. Okay. Try to come home and help in any way we can. Nice. But this time, all the nurses, almost about 35 of us decided we're going to come. Oh. Now, we are about 50... We're about almost 60. 60 members. 60 members yes. now. And we decided, about 35 of us decided, you know what, we're going to forfeit everything that we have, our yes. time with our families, everything. We're going to spend money and come home and help home in a bigger way this time. Yes. Tomorrow we plan to go to Confuanoche Hospital. Yeah. We brought um, about 48 food container. Wow. All yeah. by our own money. Yeah, it's and our own I mean, just, resources. Just out of the 60 nurses that you have in yes. the USA, yes. put your resources together to do this. Yes. yes. Just to give back yes, to, our, to country. our country. So, everything from money wise, everything is individual. It's our own pocket Which money. Which part of the state are you? Texas? Texas, Texas. yes. Is it, is Dallas, like, Texas. Like everyone can get involved. So far as the person is a Ghanaian or? Yes, yes. and a nurse. And a All nurse. in the medical field. Well, I, I what take what that about back. like there are people who are not nurses, but they would love to also give to you guys. Oh, and so they, they, they are like our patrons. Yeah. And we are willing to accept them. It Once means, they contact us, we ask them what they want to do. And then we do uh, accept any it help. Is, yeah. It's just that the nurses are just, um, the, the, I would say, the foundation. foundation. Yeah. But any health profession, any other profession, even excluding health, is welcome. Yeah. Because we all need to come together as a unit and to then, come and help our country. Why is it so important to help your country? That is home. Yeah. Regardless. Regardless. Yeah. If, I, even if you are not born here, there. Um, your, your ancestors. Kind of yeah. go back to Ghana. And so they are less, important. they are less, uh, they have less uh, privilege as like over there in the United States, we have, even if you don't have money, you can get medical care. But here in Ghana, it is hard for you to get it. So we're trying to reach everybody to, everybody to get equal, at least some basic kind of health care that they will know because out of ignorance, people lose their life. Like she said, it was founded based on their cousin, Passing. and it was due to some certain little stuff that can be prevented and as being nurses now those of us that were nurses here in Ghana and also nurses uh, in the United States can see the difference in the nursing wise some some little stuff that can save life like me and her were both in the mother baby unit so all uh, she's a labor delivery nurse so like over there in the United States 
you can save a child's life just by suctioning, deep suctioning. Here they go lose, but you hear more often the mother went to go have a baby, that the baby died, the mother died or something, which is most of the time preventable. I just want to ask this question. Are you working with the nurses in here? Is it like you learn something in the state, right? Are you doing the transfer of knowledge to the nurses in here? So, so what yes. we are doing is this, and if you were, you were there um, at the Pantine today. Yeah. So what happened is that um, I had a friend, her name is um, Sister Mary. Mm -hmm. Nanama Owusu was her original school name, and she's a professor she used to be a professor of this school and she did community health in all these areas okay. so what she realized is that the nurses are very good here um, but they can do more with what we have yeah so we all sat down and realized that we can share our knowledge with them at the same time we learn from them because when we learn and they give us reasons for why they do certain things we can also add the knowledge that we have acquired yeah. to them to help them we know they don't have all the resources yeah i was gonna how say do that we use or utilize what we have, have in an effective way that will help the patients to prevent anything that of course anything that is preventable yeah like she's saying in the united states we we, we are exposed to uh, equipment like it's easy access to for stuff but here maybe they do certain things this way because it's not easy for them to yeah to get the equipment so we want to see where they are coming from why they do it this way or that way and then we can also add on to what they're doing and um, not not to say what they're doing is wrong in medical field there's new evidence every time so the way they did it a year ago might change today so just to add the evidence-based practice to what they already know container that you brought what was inside oh um equipment beds, hospital beds wheelchairs, wheelchairs um, um, incubators. gloves incubators um stretches and medications I, and i hope you guys are making sure that they use this equipment for the right purpose so what sure. we are doing to make sure that happened that is why we didn't come to stay back yes we are involved we are hands-on we came in ghana nurse association dallas texas we came in to do hands-on nursing yeah we want to be with the people will you say this trip to ghana was more fulfilling yes very especially today i for one i today was very i i was i was touched or very like shocked, overwhelmed with the way they received us. Most of the time, you would think they will like, you know, repel from, you know, accepting us, but they, they opened their arms and invited us to even do more. So yes, I would say it's very fulfilling to me and it's, I, I, I'm glad I came and I'm glad that it's a pleasure to be part of this event. They danced with us, they did everything, they showed their appreciation. Um, in some way, the kids were so exciting. We are looking forward to Kolobu Hospital, we are looking forward to Comfuanoche, we are looking forward to Trinity um, Hospital and um, we are amazed. God bless yeah. Ghana for the world. Is this something that is going to continue yearly or is this one time thing that you guys have done? So we're hoping, hopefully, we don't know, with a, four, with a 60, 60 people about. Yeah. In our profession, one thing that is going to be hard is because they don't give us that much time off. So that is the, a little problem that we will encounter. But hopefully, we will try to do it at least yearly or by every two years or something. That doesn't mean that finances is not a problem. I was going to, yeah. I was just going to put that in. I was just <laughs> going to put that in. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Finances is also because, a problem. Because yeah. finances is the main, is the main problem. Yes. Because let me tell you why. As a mother or as a family, you can, you have to come in, leave your children behind, leave your home behind. You have to pay bills behind Everything. while you come. One, two, all these supplies. Yes. Now the demand is going to get more. Yeah. Please, let's do it together. I know that I have a lot of nurses watching me from America in general. So you know how we're gonna do it? We're gonna put your numbers. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put the numbers and it's by force. I'm not gonna beg them, they know it. You can come from another state and um, join us with financial support. 
even your knowledge will take it any state in the United States even yes. if you're in England the whole world let's come together support us we are good cause we are willing to put in the time to get to this do, yes. support us financially and let's help our country thank you so much for watching it's your favorite village boy Mr. Ghana baby and I know that the one dollar will go a yes. very long way yes I really want to know yeah why where you all have to follow your parents to come in here or you were forced to come to Ghana? No, we followed them all. Are you sure you followed them? <laughs> this was my choice. I believe it's also theirs as well. Why is it so important to follow your parents to come to this place? Since we are from America and we, I assume most of us were born there or at least have spent the majority of our lives there, yet our people and our culture reside here. I think it's imperative that well, at least in our early years, we have the opportunity to come and see who we are. See it in our culture, in our people, in the way our people uh, enjoy their food and communicate and, and live their lives. The, the ethics behind it all, I think it's important that at a young age, you are exposed to it. The exposure is, is critical to our development as Ghanaians. I just wanted to say that Auntie Ivana and Auntie Joan did an amazing job starting this organization the Ghana Nurse Association of DAW to reach our community, touch them and teach. And in the DFW area, like there are so many Ghanaian nurses and they came together to come back to our community where we're all from to teach and to help people around. And so I believe that this is something amazing. And I personally want to continue this. And I know that all the other kids here were the next generation. And so being able to see what's happening here and then get to do it when we, when we get older is such a blessing. I know your friends are going to watch this video or maybe probably one of you will send this video to your friends. If you have any message for your friends living back in America, what would that message be? This is Ghana. This is it. There is no, that's not the hut. It's not what everyone thinks. This is Ghana. This is our home. It is wonderful. I, I recommend if you have never been, please come. Come experience Africa for what it is, for what it is going to become, for the potential is here. Come enjoy the beauty. Exactly. Oh, come and enjoy the beauty. Are you enjoying Ghana? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking to me. You want to say bye-bye to them? Bye-bye. <laughs>